Hello everyone, Pokemon Violet and Scarlet have been out for a little while now, so I think it's time for us to say who are our five favorite new Pokemon. As you're watching today's video, please let me know who are your favorite new Pokemon. Um, and for me, in my list, I'm also going to include a bonus one. <laughs> um, I've included one Pokemon that I thought was a new Pokemon as I was playing the game because I didn't play that generation before. And then as I was making this video, I finally realized, oh snap, he's actually not a new Pokemon. <laughs> so let's get right into the list with number five. Coming in at number five, we have Tinkaton. Um, I really like this new Pokemon. It looks just like a little girl with like a huge hammer that she's, you know, <laughs> carrying around on her back. And I also really like that she is fairy and steel. I think that's a cool new Pokemon type. So Pinkaton, <laughs> sorry, Tinkaton. <laughs> Tinkaton is a really good one. Coming in at number four, we have Gimme Ghoul. And Gimme Ghoul, as soon as I saw this Pokemon, I was super excited because I'm a big, like, classic JRPG fan. And, you know, that's kind of always a trope in some of the older games where you go up to it and you think it's going to be a treasure box, but then nope, it's a monster that's coming out to get you. And this Pokemon, it just, like, uh, embodies that feeling, that memory for me. So I was really excited when I bumped into this Pokemon. Before I get into my top three, we're now going to look at my bonus Pokemon that I thought was a new one, but actually it's not. And that Pokemon is Rockruff. Um, this Pokemon is so cute. It's like a puppy Pokemon. Um, and I had never seen this Pokemon before because I hadn't played um, like the 3DS games. Um, so yeah, I had missed the generation that he was introduced in. And so this was my first time seeing this Pokemon. He's really cute and he's also really good in battle. So I liked him a lot in my playthrough. Now we've gotten to number three, and number three for me is Palmy. Um, I love the name Palmy. It's really cute. I love his design as well. The only thing that's slightly going against Palmy is that his evolutions are really lame. <laughs> um, he basically just kind of like slowly stands up. Um, probably competes for some of the worst, or maybe not worst, just kind of like most boring evolutions. Um, but on the plus side, he's still kind of cute when you evolve him, so there's that. Coming in at number two, we have Fido, and strangely, you know, he's the second puppy Pokemon that I have on this list. Um, I liked Fido from the very beginning. He's really cute. I love the name, how it has like doe in it, and then the Pokemon, you know, it's kind of like doe. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like Fido. And coming in at number one, I really want to get this Pokemon plushy. It's Sprigatito. Um, I really, really like cats. <laughs> um, and then this cat is like a grass type cat, and it's a starter. It's really cute. Um, I love the animations of when you meet it for the first time. Um, its evolutions are actually quite good. Um, I wasn't a big fan when I saw its final evolution initially, but I do have to say that it steadily grew on me, and then especially seeing one of the other <laughs> starters, final generation, uh, final evolution, I was just like, mm, okay, you know, I think Sprigatito, they, they did a pretty good job. So yeah, Sprigatito, great new Pokemon. Really want a plushie of them. Um, actually, I would love plushies of Sprigatito, Fido, Palmy, and Rockruff. So make sure you let me know in the comments down below who are your favorite new Pokemon from Violet and Scarlet. And I'll see you guys next time.